In this work, we introduce a scalable and temporally coherent method for content-aware video retargeting. We perform sequential optimization to resize the video. Avoiding optimization on the entire video cube at once allows our method to achieve high performance and low memory consumption without sacrificing temporal coherence. We preserve the relative motions of neighboring objects to achieve temporally coherent resizing. Consider two neighboring points in the first video frame. We can trace the path lines of these two points based on the optical flow. The offsets between these two path lines in each frame are required to undergo the same transformation as the video frames are deformed. Our method retargets each video frame with individual optimization, enabling efficient and scalable processing of long and high resolution videos. Since after the per frame resizing, objects in adjacent frames are not coherent, we see noticeable waving artifacts. These dynamic artifacts are particularly disturbing to the human eye. Therefore, after the first pass of per frame resizing, we optimize the motion path lines. Here, we show the original trajectories in red, the per frame resize path lines in green, and the optimized path lines in blue. For visualization purposes, the path lines are projected onto the XT plane. As we can see, the offsets between the green path lines are transformed inconsistently, which leads to waving in the recessed video. In contrast, our optimized path lines in blue do not have this problem. After the optimized path lines are obtained, they serve as guides to a second pass of per frame resizing and help achieve a temporally coherent final result. In addition to the scalable resizing, we also incorporate cropping into our system. This avoids degeneration of the results into simple linear scaling when there are too many prominent objects in the video. Similarly to the crop and warp method of Wong and colleagues, we determine critical regions based on persistence, such that other regions may be discarded by cropping. Specifically, we first deform the video frames to the optimal width based on the critical regions and the overall saliencies of the video frames. Since this optimal width may be larger than the desired width, we then translate the video frames such that the critical regions lie within the target video cube and crop the video according to the target cube. We compare our method to the streaming video retargeting technique of Cray and Buell and colleagues and the crop and warp technique of Wong and colleagues. As we can see in these videos, the streaming method produces waving artifacts since it only constrains temporally adjacent pixels to undergo similar deformation, without considering the optical flow. On the other hand, our method and the crop and warp method achieve temporally coherent results since the object's motions are taken into account. Our results are similar or slightly better than those of Wong and colleagues, and contrary to theirs, our system is scalable and fast. Please refer to the paper for the timing and memory statistics. Here we show a long example which cannot be handled by the crop and warp method since solving for the deformed video frames altogether requires a prohibitively large amount of memory space.